Hey there, this video is all about having the two columns of images and um, how to add those classes. So I'm going to use um, a blog post of mine as an example. So this blog post has a number of spaces or images that I put side by side. Um, the one rule with this is you need to make sure that the images are the exact same height. So it, to make it easy, um, as you're resizing the photos, um, you, can you can just have a specific width and height that you want all of the vertical images to be so that you know that they will um, all be the same height. Because if this image was shorter, then it would just be, you know, it would stop right here and then there would be that little opening or that little spot. So that's the one thing you need to do um, or think about as you're adding in those vertical images. So the way to do that is very simple. You're going to go to the blog post that you're writing. You put in the images. You're going to see that they're all side by side. So I'm going to use these two as an example. So let me go to that. And you can see right here, this, these two images are side by side on the site. But when you're adding the images in, they're just going to be stacked. So when you're adding the images in, you're going to um, click on that image and choose this edit icon. And then you're going to put in the image CSS class section. You're going to put in one half with a dash and then either left or right, depending on, you know, if it's going to be on the left or the right of um, the two images that you choose. So you'll click update and then you'll go to the next image and choose that one. And here you can see I have right and one half. So another, um, I guess, rule, but just a tip is to make it um, for the code to work really well, you do not want to have extra spaces like this. So if you just saw, what I usually do to make sure is I'll click on the second image, the one that's going to be on the right, and I click on the left arrow on my keyboard, and you will see that it went just to this image instead of the next image. So I'm going to click delete and you'll see that the image is there. Then when I click it again, it goes to the right. You can see that cursor is blinking. It goes to the next image. You just want to make sure that there's almost no space. There's no enter between these. So obviously you don't want to be adding in words between the two photos that will be um, collaged together or columns together. Um, you'll want to add the text afterwards and um, you will want to make sure to click um, enter and start typing between um, those images and it's as simple as that so you'll click update and then when you refresh your page you will see that they sit side by side and um, you will notice that with the pin it, the custom pin it button that um, will be that I add to the site will not be shown on these two um, and that's just because of the way that it's coded and once you another thing to know is once you go to um, mobile it will split so that they're not as small if you want them to still stay side by side that's something I can do um, but by default I make sure that they stack on mobile so that you can easily see both of those and that's it. Very simple. And um, again, real quick, you just click on the image, click edit, and it's in the image CSS class. And you'll do one half and then left or right. Thanks.